second. And that's why you never go to Tijuana, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is so tame. <laughs> so, well, you know, Boyd gives the better jokes. I mean, I've, I've got to hand it to him. He <coughs> is the obscene joke teller, and he knows every limerick known to mankind. <laughs> Since Saturday night, you know what that means. Murder Hobo Inc. is live. Uh, a lot of unfamiliar faces here, which can only mean one thing. It's a one-shot night. Of course, we have Carol, which I've instructed our other three guests to feel free to talk over her. Uh, it's not on the bingo card, but she wouldn't feel at home without it. Uh, tonight, uh, if you've seen it, uh, we're going to the Elemental Plane of Fire, so I'm going to roast these guys like marshmallows. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube. If you want to buy cool stuff like this, ooh, bank bag with a big brass uh, uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag above me, below me, somewhere like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get to introductions before we take you on a mystical journey to the damn near plane of hell. We'll start with Carol uh, because she knows how this works and the other three who uh, call her friend don't blame me. Uh, they're all from New England. Yeah. So they're kind of Boston Patriots fans, I'm assuming. So I will talk slow. <laughs> oh, you know, wow. you're lucky, Frank. You are so lucky. I no, no, no. I like this. I like this. <laughs> I, I, I was, am a Boston fan. So. I was so totally going to have them wear a Patriots shirt to this, but I, I, no such luck. It's an out of chat. Not a big deal. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Well, as you said, I'm Carol. I am a commission mini painter, um, longtime gamer, sometime GM, and the newest member of the cast of the campaign here. And designer um, of t-shirts. And designer of t-shirts. A couple of them. Most are Franks. Uh, but tonight I'm playing Gil Ray. She is a druid. Um, I'm sorry, a gnomish druid. Ninth level, folks. That's a special type of Ninth dude. level, suckers. Uh, very good. Uh, we'll keep with the ladies first. Maeve, tell us who you are and tell us who you're playing. Okay, okay I'm, I'm Heidi. Heidi. Yeah. I've been playing for a while. Um, if I mess up, chat, please don't roast me too bad. This is actually the fire. highest yeah. level I've played in fifth ed. So, <laughs> Good. so we'll see how this goes. And I'm playing May the Tiefling Assassin. So you should feel right at home in the roasty confines. I think so. Uh, to I'm going to assume our most patient person on this panel, Carol's husband. <laughs> I love you, honey. I love you too, sweetie. Yes, my name is Joe. I'm now. Carol's husband. Uh, I've been gaming for, oh God, way too long. No uh, such thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've been running games. Play, um, mostly I do campaign, uh, not campaigns. I do uh, convention games for a couple of conventions, uh, local conventions. Uh, and uh, I, tonight I'm playing Bjorn Sunstone, Dwarven Cleric of the Sun. Oh boy, you are you're a long way from home. <laughs> I indeed. Uh, and finally, Jack the Axe. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hello. Uh, everyone can refer to me as DJ. Uh, been playing since I was like, I think 12. Uh, found this, you know, rabble to join up with <laughs> long ago. Nice touch. Nice touch. Uh, yeah. I'm also the youngest out of them all, so keep that in mind. Really? In spite of the yeah. gray hair. Tell at all. Yeah, I kind of look <laughs> some. I, I, my hair looks the oldest, though. But uh, So I'm playing uh, Jack the Axe. Um, he's a uh, no-nonsense barbarian that uh, just likes to get crap done. Uh, carries around an adamantine axe, uh, kind of his uh, key piece. So, yeah. As long as his philosophy is just hit it hard enough, and it'll eventually drop. Folks, if you had uh, TPK on your bingo card, you might as well get that baby warmed up. Uh, if you're playing bingo, 
Thanks for joining us with the bingo card. Don't forget, uh, when you check off a square, mark down the time so that we can double check. It's not that we don't trust you. It's just that we don't trust you. So go ahead and mark down the time that it happens. It makes it easier. Uh, if you saw the intro, you know these guys are going to the elemental plane of the fire because the Duchess of Salt has requested to talk to them. Off camera, we went ahead and held that discussion. The Duchess of Salt uh, was recently uh, privy to a bard who came to her uh, palace and told of a neighboring kingdom actually purchasing a phoenix. Now, the Duchess of Salt's daughter, Veruca, wants one now. So, the Duchess of Salt has put her kingdom in hock to A, pay for the phoenix, B, uh, make sure these guys get paid a la title and lands, and C, has hired a wizard to get them from the prime material plane to the elemental plane of fire with a single amulet that went to Jack the Axe uh, that will protect them from the environment as long as they stay within 20 feet of <coughs> Raging Barbarian. If they get out the of that choice. 20 feet, fine choice. Choice. his choice and his ring of flying. Uh, so if they get out, <laughs> we're going to start feeling the burn. And we aren't talking politics. We're talking heat. So, uh, you guys have spoken to uh, Icleus, the wizard. He has assured them eh, within 90% that he is going to put them in the middle of Cooperino Square <laughs> colony where zinc is mined to build the glorious city of brass. So, he has a portal. It's a bathtub. And only two of you can fit at once. So who wants to go first, and then who wants to go second? I will take I'll go first. first. I think Jack should go first or second. Damn it! Is it cold water? <laughs> is it cold water? It is cold water. Oh, no, no, no. You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna let her burn? Shut up, Carol. Yeah. That was one of the main points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The amulet. Oh, yeah, yeah totally yeah, forgot about that. Course. Totally forgot. I, I, I forgot. I had to like, oh, folks, that yeah. close to start. Oh, this is going to be a long night. So I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll grab, I'll grab our, uh, our rope yeah. and just kind of go into the water with her. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Icleus. Makes his enchantments as Gilray and Bjorn watch on and poof, Maeve and Jack the Axe are gone. Uh, before Gilray and Bjorn get in, Maeve, Jack. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Roll initiative. initiative. 19. Nice. Oh, I have advantage. That's right. So that's seven or a ooh, twenty-two. I got a six. <laughs> so you would have beat it gonna, anyways. Yeah, it's not going to start out real well. Uh, good news and bad news uh, for the barbarian and the assassin. <laughs> you are not in the middle of a town square. You are in the middle of some kind of, I don't know. Looks like a crater, and it's got some fire snakes in it. But the good news is there's a pair of salamanders on the ridge trying to eat the fire snakes until you arrive. So what would you two like to do as you wait patiently for your associates? Uh, look at the fire snakes. Assume, assume that, that they're, they're patrons of this, this weird city. city. Like, Hello, uh, we come in peace. That, that, that's, that's right. right. That's what you say, right? right? Yeah, that's what I do. I, I don't, don't think, think we're in the city. You are not really? in the city. You are in a crater. <laughs> really? <Are> you sure? <laughs> do you see buildings? Hey, hey, it's a strange place. I don't know. <laughs> Maeve, what would you like to do? Um, Grab hold of Jack and start pulling him out of the crater away from, from the salamanders. Uh, well, uh, there's a salamander on the left and a salamander on the right. Oh, lovely. 
up to the middle line. Yes. So both can get you. Okay, that's fair. Uh, give me an acrobatics so that you can pull the questionably minded barbarian up and out. Say. Twenty-seven. Sure, uh, Jack. You feel someone tug you by the collar, but you aren't wearing clothes, though, are you? Oh, I got like you know skivvies and whatnot, but yeah, no shirt or anything like that. She grabs you by a questionable accoutrement of your body. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think this is time that. <laughs> now, here's the kicker, Maeve. Let's see how far you get. Why don't you roll me a d20? Uh, if it's a 20, Gilray and Bjorn are going to be feeling the burn early. <laughs> uh, no, that's a two. Oh. Uh, you barely get to the ridge. Uh, the salamanders, uh, I'm going to say odd attack, even. Uh, don't know what the hell's going on because you interrupted their dessert. <laughs> That's 14. Uh, they're going to pass on this round. Uh, Gilray and Bjorn, uh, you are motioned to get into the bathtub together. Uh, uh, and are you ready to go? Yep. As ready as I'll ever be. Don't worry. I'm almost positive you're going to end up in the same place as they are. Kabow! <laughs> Gilray, D12 against me. Oh, boy. Oh, that's good. 11. <laughs> 12. You are one foot behind Maeve and Jack the Axe as they are trying to get up over the crater. You two also spy Salamander 1, Salamander 2, and a whole bunch of snakes in this pit. Oh, P.S. Uh, you need to get back at this exact location to get home. And the amulet only works for eight hours. No dawdling, no dawdling, no long rest, no real short rest. Uh, go around right and, and Bjorn, give me your initiative rolls. Uh, we'll keep uh, Maeve and Jack the Axe the same. Let's see. Uh, looks like uh, 13. All right, my initiative? Yep. Let's see. That'd be a 20. Still better than me. So, Maeve, round two, uh, you hear a little noise behind you, catch a little bit of a shadow behind you, uh, and you're hoping for dear life that uh, your associates are with you. So you can continue up. Uh, the salamanders are done looking at their dessert and are now laser-focused on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna look behind. Hopefully, it's Galloway and Bjorn. Galloway. Galloway. Hi. I attack her. Oh no, she made it. Are they close enough that we can still move and they'll still be in the radius? Oh yeah, they're on your ass. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to drag Jack. Gilray and Bjorn, you notice that she has a firm grip on Jack and she is trying to get him up on top of the ridge line. Uh, Gilray, I believe you are just slightly ahead of Jack. What would you like to do? Am I, wait, I'm down bottom or up top? You're down in the crater. Uh, I, I want to get up. Okay, so you're pushing in behind her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maeve, give me a acrobatics roll again, please. Make sure you don't let loose. 26. Sure. Uh, Jack, you're going up. <laughs> going okay. up and yeah, whatever. Up and over. <laughs> uh, Gilleray is pushing behind Maeve. Uh, Jack, you and Maeve reach the lip of the crater. Uh, you got a hungry salamander bearing down on you. You got a hungry salamander bearing down on your associate Maeve. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, wait. So, wait. Are these things, are we supposed to kill these things? I think so. Oh, okay. okay yeah, sure. <laughs> I will uh, whoop out my axe. And uh, how far away are they from us? Right on top of you, five feet. Oh, then I'll just attack, attack one. one. Sure. Uh, so, first, first attack. attack. Uh, I will go reckless. reckless. That's a good choice. And uh, great weapon master. Uh, so that's uh, 15 to hit these babes. 15. Yeah, that's gonna hit. So that's gonna be d12. 
Uh, uh, so, so, 10, 15. so that's uh, 18 for the first hit. Second attack with advantage. That's a uh, seven. So that's a uh, 16 to hit. Both hit. Torn, you are on deck. So if you want to start attacking, you can start rolling. Uh, that's that's going to be uh, 21 damage. And then bonus action attack again. <coughs> uh, ooh, that might miss. 15 is your magic number. Well, that's nine plus five. So that's a 14, so that'll just miss. Clinked off his nose. Uh, Bjorn and Jack, you are on Salamander 1. Maeve and Gilray, you are on Salamander 2. All right. Bjorn, what do you want to do? All right. Well, I uh, went and hit it with a guiding bolt, and I rolled a nat 20. <gasps> Actually, go ahead and re-roll your 20. All right. Rolls in Philbar, uh, you do extra damage. Well, that is only a where is my one hit the guiding bolt. Uh, 13. 13 oh. is double max damage. So what is your max damage? Max damage on a guiding bolt. Uh, this was just a uh, let's see. 46. So that's 24. Times 2, 48. 48. 48. <laughs> Not I think that's going to be an accelerator. Maybe. So, uh, Jack, Odd, Bjorn, Even. Apparently it isn't. <laughs> odd, Jack, uh, Maeve, Odd, Gilray, Even. 12. Jack and Gilray. Uh, I think it's just, nope, it's two attacks. Uh, the tail will be the orange. So on Jack, oh, Jesus, uh, uh -oh. does a 16 get you? That's just the, no, no, no 18 now because of the ring. Yeah, you get 18 because of the ring. So it, uh, pings off your magical, oh, raw, oh, raw, <laughs> kill array. Flex Flex the muscles. The muscles. <laughs> uh, another 16 is the best I can do. That will hit. I have a 15. Oh. Wow. Even with plus two armor? Oh, oh you chose leather. That's right. Yeah. Well, I think that was the max I could take. Oh, you got lucky. Uh, you could have gotten eight, a magic hide in minute 16. And so 17 hit points of damage, Gilray. <laughs> Uh, top of the order, Maeve, you are up. You are on top of the ridge along with Jack, who is swinging for the fences like Big Poppy. How far away am I from Salamander 2? Five feet. It is on top of you. Okay, I'm going to take on my dagger and um, stab him. Stab him. Okay. Stab <laughs> And now, she is next to you, so there is an associate close. <clears throat> okay, so that is all of these. That was 10 to hit? Uh, 15 to hit. Okay, so I missed. Swing and a miss. Uh, Gilray, your associate on top of the lip, uh, attempts to, but fails to connect. You are also on the lip because you were pushy, uh, so you are up. Oh, boy. What do I want to do? Kill it. I, I vote kill it. I vote run. Run 21 feet away. <laughs> uh, no. Although I can uh, mitigate some, some of that uh, damage. You'd think you could. <laughs> You know what? Four SMGs. I'm gonna <coughs> I think I'm gonna cast frostbite. So I cause a run frost to form a one creature. <laughs> what? On the elemental plane of fire. That's right. Okay. Should work well. Cold should work, work well against, against fire. fire. <laughs> Good try. Um, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw at uh, DC 16. Uh, that's a 17 on the roll, and oh. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, now it could have been a minus, but yeah, I get plus two, so 19. I assume it's save or suck. So suck. Uh, up next, Jack the Axe. Yeah. Uh, Salamanders I will... looking really peaked. So I'm just... Don't forget you have advantage because of the guiding bolt. Yes. That's only one of the attacks. Actually, I shouldn't have made that bonus, bonus attack, attack roll. I realized. That's okay. I forgot oh, it's only you were in the recklessly first attack attacking, and I should have had advantage. All right, so no reckless attack because he's giving me advantage. Because uh, was, was that the, the? Did you get advantage on that one? I should have, but I didn't. Oh, okay. And if I forget, that's on me. Um, that's just gonna be a fifteen. That's good hit. enough. Go advantage. And then... Oh, that's nice. So uh, that's going to be uh, 9, 14, plus 10. So 24 damage. And then the second attack without advantage. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 16. So that's... 21. To hit? Yes. Are you going to do more than six? <clears throat> Ironically, yes, even on a one. Nicely done. Bjorn, uh, as you ready your action against the salamander you've been attacking, its chest is splayed open by Jack the Axe, and it falls into the crater where it is set upon by the fire snakes in your peripheral vision you notice that the ladies are having a difficult time <laughs> the other salamander if you'd like to attack it your attack is going to be at minus two this round normal the next round what would you like all to do? right or run uh, 21 I... feet out of the way <laughs> <laughs> i will go ahead and cast spiritual weapon Fair enough uh, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, just adjusting my tablet. Whatever you gotta do. Let's do it fast. All right. Minus two. That is still a twenty-three with a spiritual weapon. I will be attacking Mave this round. <laughs> Uh, seven points of damage. Nice. Uh, Maeve, the salamander, focuses it on you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm assuming a nine doesn't hit, but does an 18 nope. get you? An 18 does. There we go. It uh, tries to spear you. And it does a nice job. Uh, 11 and 4 heat damage. Uh, so you'll only take 2 because you're a tiefling, correct? Yes. So 13 points of damage. And we are at the top of the order at round 3, Maeve. Time for a little payback on this salamander. Okay, bonus action disengage and then I'm going to fire my cross at <laughs> Are you going 21 feet outside? No. Are you sure? You can. Wide I open plane sure. here. Wide open. A lot of room. Uh, no. Okay. Just checking. So that, that will be option. 25 to hit. Hmm? Damage? Damage is... Nineteen. Uh, Gilray, you're up. All right. Since she stepped away, I'm going to step away. And I'm going to cast Ice Knife. On the elemental plane of fire. Yes. <laughs> sure, you see a ahead. theme here? Yep. <laughs> like my dice are blue. Wise choice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th you aren't in the tropics, my dear. You are on another plane of existence. <laughs> That's right. They should not like this very much. Let's see. Okay. That just means they're going to attack you all the time. That is a 27. That hits. Hit. 
And <laughs> let's see. D10. Okay, so that is eight points of damage. So let me see what else happens. It turns A target. to steam. All right, hang on. Sure. Also, after that, by the way, if it's still up, oh, oh the yeah. target. Sorry, what? It, it's it's barely hurt. All right, so so what happens is you must succeed on a dex saving throw. Uh, that's an eighteen natural with <laughs> plus two, twenty, dirty. You you dice suck, man. <laughs> Because then if it fails, then it would take another 2d6 cold damage. Hold on. Wah, wah. <laughs> Jack the Axe, your uh. enraged demeanor uh, gives you the triumphant war cry as the salamander slides into the crater, but you catch a glimpse out of the corner of your eye of Maeve and Gilray stepping back. So even with your Less than stellar intelligence, you assume something's behind you. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Of course, the ladies are having problems. They can never. Oh! <laughs> so, uh, oh, you not misogyny. Jack, on yes, inside, yes. Voice. <laughs> inside voice. <laughs> so, uh, I will run over there. I'm not going to rage again. This is Jack just, doesn't crazy. have an inside um, voice. No, no. So, oh, wait, no uh, yeah, I'll go reckless, get the advantage on the first attack. Uh, oh, nice. 19 on the die. So that's, uh, that's a 23 hit. to hit. <coughs> Four. You guys need to roll more ones. <laughs> uh, that's, so that's, that's 19, 19 for, the for the first. Second attack, let's see if I can hit. Uh, 12 on the die, plus 4. 16. Nice. So then that'll be... Our Scottish friend, Bjorn. All right. So I'm going to... 23 more damage there. Dip in. Oh. Remember those ones you were talking about? <laughs> uh, fortunately, both Maeve and Gilray have stepped back, so roll any die odd, you whack Jack, even you hit yourself. All right. You hit them five feet now? And that's, that's another, another one. one. Uh, that's an odd, so you hit Jack. Uh, go ahead and <laughs> and then have it. Okay. So this, this is, this is, is a spiritual, spiritual weapon, too. You're so lucky I'm not raging right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> another one. So at least it's consistent. <laughs> you can oh put some God. of them back if you want. So the total will be four, so it happens is two. Two. Two damage. Really so that. two points of force damage. damage. Uh, sorry, oh, wait, sorry. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. We got bees here. <laughs> Odd Jack, even Bjorn. That's 12, even Bjorn. <laughs> no. Fifteen is the best I can roll. That's a uh, two and an eight. No. Does a fifteen hit you? Oh, it close. Maeve, you're up. Round four. Is shooting again. again. Twenty-one to hit. Yep. Hey, hey, hey what's up with no these secret notes going on? Again. No, no one's next, next to the salamander anymore, right? right? Uh, yes, the gentlemen are Jack and Bjorn, despite Bjorn's best effort to knock Jack away. <laughs> you guys are such a quiet group. I'm used to everybody talking. Come well, I think, damage. I think it's because of the echo, because we're all in the same room. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that could be it. Gilleray, uh, you stand behind the Twin Towers. Uh, what do you want to do? Can I get in there to what, take a whack at it? Uh, yeah, minus two. Just, Come on, come and whack it off. Jeez. It just doesn't seem like I want to blow <laughs> my spells for this. Really? You don't want to blow your freezing spells on the elemental plane of fire. Oh, man, she has no, the coldest hands. I do, but I want to do it on a, a beast that are more worthy. 
That would be an 18. You guys are just going to make a financial transaction. Why do you, what, you're just going to go in and start killing people inside the city? Jesus Christ. Hey, what's, what's the name of this that's show what I was thinking. again? 18 hits, right? Oh, yeah, 18 hits plenty. <laughs> uh, seven points of damage <laughs> with my scimitar. Uh, Jack, in between you and Bjorn, a blade <laughs> comes slashing through. Uh, didn't look like it came from Bjorn. Hey, 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 watch it with that butter knife. <laughs> that's a scimitar, you. No, that's a butter knife. <laughs> You're talking over her. <laughs> <laughs> Way <laughs> over her. You're up. See if you can put this thing down. Who's up? I'm up. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, reckless again. Oh, remember, if you attack me, you get an advantage on me. Yes, unfortunately, I went after Bjorn last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 14 on the die. So that's plus four. So that's 18 to hit. That's going to be. Oh, nice. Uh, that's uh, 21 plus five. So 26 damage. Nice. And second attack. Been hit. Ah, nice. 15 on the die. So that's... Uh, yeah, that's going to be another... That's 19 for uh, 25 damage. God, I need to relink this during the normal game. Dead! Uh, the second salamander uh, keels over and it too slides into the crater where the hungry fire snakes begin to attack their attackers. Uh, above the crater, you are mildly safe from them at this point in time. I will take perception checks by all of you, please. All right, perception. That's not bad. Uh, 23. Four. 16. Uh, Gilleray, uh, you look over and there, off in the distance, is a fantastic city with high brass minarets <gasps> teeming along the horizon. Oh, he got his clothes. I, I think that's it over there. Uh, uh, Jack, it. you look over to the other side and you see a stone bridge leading up to a much smaller settlement. Yeah, well, no, no, it, it, I think it might be that one. Oh, wow. Wait, is there a road sign? There is and not it, a road sign here. Uh, oh, well. Shoot. I don't know. Uh, wait, aren't we supposed to be going to the city of Brass? No, we're supposed to be going to a mining town. Then it's probably that one. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like that one's got like a, a ridge and like a a mountain, right? Correct. Yeah. So yeah, that that makes for <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to the small one or the big one? The We're going one. to the small one. The small. You know, yeah. the yeah. bridge. bridge. Nothing bad can happen, happen in an office bridge, bridge, bridge where we can damage. Damage. Exactly. Uh, the heat rises up off the uh, sandy surface of this plane. It always rises. And even though That's you are right. hit by Jack's amulet, you can still feel uncomfortable. Uh, it is almost oppressive. However, it is not inhibiting your movement or abilities at this point in time. As you move closer to the bridge, you see a caravan coming towards you filled with you aren't quite sure go ahead and give me an arcana check all of us any of us all of you <laughs> yeah this would be good jack no oh, that's oh a, my goodness. It's a five i also got a five uh, okay. okay 17. Oh my God. <laughs> that's that's right, right, man. Man. 11. Uh, i look at jack, jack and go what Jack, the smartest member of the group, uh, is familiar with these things. Uh, they are on fire. Uh, they are almost stick figures that are on fire. 
As the caravan comes approaching you, you notice that the pack animals have long snouts and drip with sweat for some reason. There are five wagons in here, and as they come closer to you, they don't seem to give two shits that you're present. They are going to pass fairly close to you. What would you like to do? Hell, uh, hey, what's up? What languages do you speak? Uh, common and bad common. Oh, and and and, and, and crazy dwarf. <laughs> Common and bad common. Yeah. They just keep on going. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Last guy in the group. We have we have places to go anyways. We don't have time to talk to them. And his hand is just on eight hours to get back. Leaving it just makes the fire grow, but he's happy to see you, Jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you be wearing a helmet, but you aren't sure. <laughs> Uh, so as, a friend all, everywhere. As, as all five of the, what you would call wagons, leave, the stone bridge is okay. Let's go. All right. uh, That's hey, cool. hey, man, I got a question for you. Uh, you know, you know if, if, we, we, like, like, if you like walk out, would you be okay? Because like, you know, you're like all hot and fiery, resisting, resisting going on. on. Thank you, Jack. Jack you're not, not my type, type though. Um, no, I, I'm... <laughs> I don't want to test uh, right uh, now. Uh, oh, just check it. Just check it. As you, uh, everyone's type. God damn it! See a sign outside that says Cooperino Pop Two Thousand. You were right. This is it. Ah, yeah, I was right. Perception, yeah. everybody. <laughs> Oh, there goes the. Oh, one. that's terrible. <laughs> that's cocked. That's not too that bad. Nine. 20? 14. That, that's mm-hmm. not even worth mentioning. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Maeve, Five, this seven. fairy fish jump out of the lava river and they can jump really high. Uh, and it seems as though a stream of fire trout are coming down the lava river. Uh, Bjorn, you being a dwarf, immediately recognize the fact that this is a basalt bridge and it should be quite sturdy. It seems to be of very high craftsmanship and perfectly able to handle the rigors of lava should it connect. What would you guys like to do? How? Oh, I was going to say across also, the bridge. Also, Maeve, you see... A pair of fire giants on the other side of the bridge with a trail leading up in between the mountain peaks. They they're going towards, towards the No, they're just standing there. Okay, okay so, so they're, they're right, right on, on the, the other, other side, side of the bridge. bridge? Yeah, I'll give or take about 10, 15 feet. <laughs> that um, looks like they're guarding the pass up to Cooperino. You talk to oh, them. lovely. Um, okay, guys, we're, we're gonna, gonna have, have to, to deal, deal with, with them after we, we deal, deal with the fish and get over the bridge. The f- you point out the fish, then because I didn't see, see them. them. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Weird, weird fish that are. Just I didn't bring a fishing like, pole. You have an axe, <laughs> so you can hit them. Well, well yeah. can we just avoid them? Well, yeah, no, I do that. <laughs> I mean, can we just cross the bridge and hope they don't? How, how do you let's, cook let's a fish that's made out of fire, though? That's a really good question. I don't, I don't know. know that. We'll, we'll find, find out, out later. later. It's like watching a Cheech and Chong episode. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my life, folks. Ah. So, are we going to yeah. deal with the fish across the bridge, or we're gonna cross kill the, the fire giants. We're gonna cross <laughs> the yeah. bridge. I don't see why we have to deal with the fish. And They're part of the natural order of things around here. Yeah, honey, there ain't anything natural about this place. It's the natural plane of fire. It is. So we're crossing the bridge, uh, I take it? Yeah, uh, we're gonna cross the bridge and try to ignore the fish. Everybody D12. <laughs> yeah, because it's D12. gonna hit something. Yeah. Oh, God. Seven. 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 Twelve. 
I could I could protect myself from them. What's your roll, Gilleray? Three. Ty, you get hit by a fish. Let me see if I can actually hit. Oh, you got fish slapped. <laughs> I am. 18 plus two, dirty 20. Does that get you? Oh, uh, 20? Yeah, no, that misses. I don't know. <laughs> You take three hit points of damage as a fire trout smacks you in the face. Uh, roll d12 against me. Oh, God. Eight. Uh, hang on. Uh, nine. Nine! <laughs> you do not lose either eyebrow in the flame. <laughs> <laughs> as you begin your crossing, uh, may <clears throat> you notice that the fire giants just don't give a shit, but one of them picks up a boulder. Uh, I think they, they do, do give a shit. shit. Um, um, why don't we... Oh. They're guarding the city, I think. I think so. so maybe giant. we go around them? Uh, yeah, maybe we go talk to them. Flings a boulder. <laughs> Everybody roll a d12. Oh, you kidding me? I'm gonna die. Oh. Ten. Nine. Ten. Three. Everybody... <laughs> Looks on in horror as this fire giant hurls a boulder and smacks four flaming fish out of the air. And he taps his buddy on the shoulder and he points. Oh, I've done this thing. Yeah, I know. It's, it's bro fishing. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you might Go speak back to their. This. Actually, is there any rocks around? Nope. The only rocks oh, in the lava. You can jump it. into the lava. You know what? I think they're uh, 21 feet behind you. <laughs> It doesn't really work if you're in the water. Let's just go talk to them. What water? Uh, you guys yeah. finish crossing the bridge. Fire giant puts up a big hand and utters something. What do you guys speak? I know what Jack speaks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, dwarvish, <laughs> celestial. Uh, I don't know where language is. This, uh, oh, here we are. Hell is the uh, <laughs> infernal. Oh, I know you'll be able to talk to him. Uh, I actually speak infernal too. Bjorn, do you speak infernal? Uh, you know what? No, I don't. Uh, Gilleray and speaking tough things. Their accent's a little bit harsh. It's like they're from the uh. Foothills of Tennessee. David, that one's for you. Uh, <laughs> they've got a sharp volunteer accent. David. And they ask you uh, to state your business. Uh, we're here, here to, to go, go uh, make, make a purchase. purchase. In your city. Hey, hey, ask them where the big fire bird thing is. Uh, hold on. Sorry, was there a response? Oh, uh, they look each one of you up and down. I flex. Okay. Uh, do you guys have to know? Oh, hold, hold on. D20 me, Jack. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's a six. six. Uh, Could have been better. Uh, Gilroy, Maeve, you hear one of the fire giants who was watching Jack flex yell out. They yell out for Matilda. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's Matilda? Oh, In a female fire giantess comes meandering down the... <laughs> oh, this is just... Cool. Uh, she comes meandering down the uh, path. Uh, Jack, you got yourself a potential love interest. <laughs> the charisma of five... <laughs> <laughs> hey Jack, what's your charisma? Hey, I'm a pretty 13, all right? Gilroy and Maeve, uh, you know <laughs> the brother talks to the sister and says, What do you think? Uh Jack, the uh, she's about 12 feet tall. She walks over. So I'm like a little uh, a little more than half right. <laughs> it gives you a poke. Uh give me a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. 
She seems like your type. Good idea. <laughs> oh, she kind of likes you. <laughs> <laughs> she rubs your head. Oh. Says something that only Gilray and Maeve can understand. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, and uh, the guards wave you on through. Uh, let's see. Odd Maeve, even Gilray. 13. Uh, Maeve, uh, the other fire giant, just shakes his head at the whole interaction with Jack and says, uh, the main square is to your left. The tavern and the inner are to your right. Hey, uh, um, right, what's, what's the name of the uh, person we're going to find? Uh, the Afrit? No, when we're buying it. Burme. I'll ask, I'll ask him where you, if I, if he he knows, knows where, where that, that person is. is. Jack, uh, your new friend can lead you right to that person. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, there you go. Make a connection. Hey, Frank. I made that, that joke. <laughs> hey, Frank. That's my How long did Jack tell him he wants to know if Matilda was waltzing? <laughs> hey, I'm the DM. I do the crappy jokes. And apparently, <laughs> Jack. So, so waltzing Matilda is now Jack the Axe's friend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jack, she is going to take you uh, to the left. You are headed towards the tavern area. I love uh, it. We don't even speak. We can't even communicate. This is like a perfect relationship. No, no. <laughs> You're locked. You're locked. <laughs> you know exactly how she feels. Uh, so as you go up through the winding path, uh, you notice that there's a lot of basalt chips here, uh, which... Should come as no surprise, considering that's what the mountains are made of. As you wind up, you find a place with a sign in Infernal that says Guard House. And it has a nice, lovely brass minaret. And then the trail forks left and right. Uh, Jack, your new paramour, rubs your head. <laughs> I see you cringe, don't I? <laughs> and uh, she leads you to the left. All right, well, I don't know better, so I'm going to follow. Did you three want to follow him? Or Absolutely. Uh, He's going to after all. Cowards. Uh, you go in, it, uh, as you go a short distance, you notice that it is just wide enough for your newfound friend, uh, and you enter what is a small town square. There are eight buildings here uh, with various names. One is a tavern, one is an inn, and a variety of fire-based creatures are milling about the plaza, some of which stop and give pause to why you are here. Thus far, there is no aggressive activity except for Jack and his newfound friend, who seems to be rather insistent that he follow her. <laughs> This is where the seduction comes in. <laughs> he is doing the dance of love, also known as the waltz. Uh, <laughs> she leads you up, and you guys see a human being. Oh. And let's see. She takes note of you. And you notice that she seems to be the only human in this area as she leans up against the side of a building, certainly unaffected by the arid uh, community. She looks at... Uh, Maeve goes, so... What's up? Hey, we're looking for uh, Perme. Happen to know where they are. Jack, she's kind of pulling you along. <laughs> I'm like, oh, one, one second, one second, one second. <laughs> Don't water too far. What are you? What are you looking for the Pasha for? Oh no, that's. They have something that we need to pick up. We're here to buy something from them. Got money? Yeah. Aye. <laughs> we wouldn't be buying if we didn't have money. money. <laughs> 
How much money you got? <laughs> Not a lot. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You know, the top half of my screen seems to know how this is going, while the bottom half, like, <laughs> we got lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should not wander major metropolitan alleys. Well, <laughs> uh, well, okay. I just thought I'd help. Just trying to be human about it. Actually, well, we've got money or like a letter of mark. You have each of you have five thousand gold pieces worth of platinum in your pockets for a total okay. of twenty thousand. Okay. Um, she's like. See those two tall minarets? That's where the yep. posh is at. All righty. Mac, you're being pulled, so I'm going to need a strength check. All right, all right, all right, all right. Damn. I keep rolling well. Uh, 22. Ooh. Dig in your heels, and you aren't letting her uh, pry you away, even though she keeps running her calloused hands up and down your arm, trying to use her skill in the art of love <laughs> giantly wiles oh look look you can do the mattress mambo later business first hey, 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 hey. this is her chin whiskers are not this on is business. Business. <laughs> the charisma five is really nice her toothy grin though is productive because every once in a while she'll flick her tongue out in between the absolute <laughs> is quite the charmer, I might add. Oh, gosh. This so seems appropriate for a jack uh, so, yeah. the, uh, the female human watches this. Hey, we got a friend. She let us to you. Just as if nausea is starting to take over and goes inside the tavern area. Uh, jack and his newfound friend are dragged through a gap in the buildings up against a very large basalt wall uh, with guard towers surrounding it. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Uh, uh, they going, going towards, towards the building that the, the human pointed, pointed out. Going right towards the big minarets. Okay, so, okay. so, so I think we go, go that, that way. way. Yeah, we I'm going to like try to, like, I don't know, uh, Pantomime, uh, you need to wait a little bit. <laughs> I can talk to her. She, she is in no mood Dance to wait, with... reaches back and smacks her own ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Huh? You know, if we get this done quick, we can wait right outside. Hey, hey everyone, everyone. anybody got any like fireproof paper bags or anything? <laughs> no. Yeah, a lot of fireproof. <laughs> <laughs> no. They no. fit your head. One of them might fit her head. Uh, she <laughs> drags you, not quite forcibly, but with a, uh, a, a tender touch of a lover, uh, and leads you in between grass uh, into a palatial estate. Uh, there are strange cacti growths here in long lines, uh, and it's not particularly ugly. It's. Uh, it's a nice little garden here. I uh, think this might actually be the place. Inside, there's a big awesome. arch, uh, and there's fabric that does not catch on fire, so asbestos. Oh, uh, you can use this as a bag. And a very large individual sits horizontal across a couch, eating some kind of weird fruit that has arms on it. Uh, she motions you, but as she lets your hand go, licks you between her teeth <laughs> <laughs> and motions you to go in for me. She was extremely helpful, so I'll give her a smack on the ass and a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Performance. Oh, no. Come on. Ironically, I am the gladiator background, so I'm trained. So that's a uh, 12. Nice. You get a big old handful of her butt, and that seems to make her happy and kind of put her hand up in front of her mouth. And <laughs> wait, I wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is in my compound is a booming voice heard from behind the asbestos curtain. 
We are. We're here to buy from you. Yeah, yeah, in in Inferno, I'm going to say the people from the Earth plane, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> come, come in, come in. Uh, as you pass through the uh, light fabric, you notice that this is an Efreet. Uh, typical Sinbad attire, you know. Looks, uh, He's not Robin Neat. Williams, but he's like... <laughs> seventh voyage uh and he's eating you know the thing with arms on it whatever wait who are you what do you want why are you here and he's speaking in common hey. oh excellent oh okay are you perme i am Ferme. Ferme sorry <laughs> perme was my brother oh uh -oh. uh oh give me uh insight check mave just mave Okay. 17. I liked my brother. What do you want? <laughs> if you would have rolled low, you would have been uphill battle. Mm -hmm. What do you want? We if you're looking for here to... he's not here. Come on, we be looking... faster. Give me a we faster looking... answer. <laughs> Jack the Axe, Gil, Maeve. Bjorn Sunstone. Fine, just tr trump me, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're here to yeah, purchase, purchase a bird. A bird. I guess. A flaming bird. A <laughs> phoenix. He looks back at Maeve. Huh? We were sent to get this phoenix from the Lady Salt, or for the Lady Salt, to bring to her daughter. She really, really wants one. Okay. No kidding, huh? I'm just supposed to give you this bird? No, uh, no, no, we, we do have, have coins. Got her. Money. Oh, money. I like money. How much money do you have? How much is what? the bird? Yeah. Uh, persuasion, Maeve. Ten. <laughs> Ten? Oh. I ask you first, how much money do you have? If you have oh. this on your bingo card, you can mark that one off. He is rushing. A thousand gold? A thousand gold? Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. One five thousand. That is too low. Go away. Go away. That is too what low. is your offer? A counter offer. Don't you like to bargain? Yes, I like to bargain. But this is my birds. You want my bird. How many? What birds? is? What's, what's your counter offer? offer? 25,000. <laughs> we can give you 18. Take 21,000. And uh, 20. And you have a deal. Persuade me. All right, let me find my persuasion, which is probably not that great. Oh, my persuasion's going to suck. I'm glad you're doing the talking. Hey, wait. Wait, well, can actually. I can help. Roll talking. it, girl. <laughs> Other people are talking, so I wonder if I get advantage. Because I'm going <laughs> to need it. All right, cause that was only a... Uh, that was terrible. It was what? Four. <laughs> I don't have persuasion, and I was hoping for advantage because <laughs> other people were involved. I was not talking to you. Step back. Step back. That's fine. You... Burglar person. What is your counter what? offer? 20,000. We'll take the, the bird, bird off your hands, hands and get, get out, out of your hair. Persuade me. <sighs> Natural 20. Yes. Or 23. Nice. Okay. You have yourself a deal. I give you one of my birds. Not an old bird, a young bird. Okay. okay. A phoenix, right? Sure. We'll say it's a phoenix. You can have a phoenix. <laughs> it has to be a phoenix. Okay. okay. I don't know what its name is, but I know it is uh, Phylum Phoenix. Give me my money. Take it out. Five, five, Two. Oh, oh, dang. Damn it. <laughs> 
I Sorry, we that. tried. Yeah, hey, here. Everybody give me their five grand? Yeah. yeah. Three reluctantly. He, he searches around for something, and then he comes up with a copper ingot, but it's it's like a bar almost, but it's like a, a cubed bar. And he hands it to me. Uh, you you go talk to Madam Showed. She will get you the bird. One! Right. Phoenix. I don't think we want more than one. No. But we'll... Just one. Maybe we do. No. <laughs> no. Where is Madam no. Showed? Down the street. We only bought one. We get one. Just down the street. Have you never been here before? No. Oh. No. All the time. <laughs> no. If only, you, if only you had a guide. <laughs> yeah, where is she? Where's your girlfriend? girlfriend? You go out. You go to the statue of me in my magnificence. You go past the statue of me. You make sure you comment on how magnificent I am. You don't go into the mine. Don't. They are angry little bastards. Don't go in the mine. <laughs> what? Don't. You go on. You go down. You go. Am I angry? Three, four buildings. Yes. Three, four doors, in your words. Three. On the right. One. That is my aviary. Three. You take one. You take more than one, we'll have problem. And no offense to the dwarf. Uh, I know you are little and you work with stone. But the Azar, the Azar are angry. They're angry little bastards. That's fine. There's plenty of angry bastard dwarves from where yeah, I come from, too. So he gives you the ingot, Rod, sends you on your way. Do you leave? Um, right. yes. yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. We yeah. do. We do. If he takes the thing and he bites into it, and you hear this god awful scream come from this grape <laughs> arms. Uh, Jack, D12 against me. Oh, no. Nine. Nine. Re roll. Nine. Twelve. Oh, oh that's a four. four. <laughs> 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 Shit. We didn't get rid of her. <laughs> Rubs your head again. <laughs> Maeve and Gilray, you say, where are we going now? Are you coming back to my place? We're going to get a bird. <laughs> yeah, we're get, yeah, we're getting we're gonna get a phoenix. And we, we need him. Yeah, going to Madam's. Do you know where Madam Shod is? We have directions. Oh. Talking slowly always makes up for lack of communication <laughs> skills. <laughs> Gilray, she says, you go. She is going to take good care of your friend. We need him. I need him. Badly. We need him more. <laughs> I do not think so. <laughs> I think our survival, survival depends, depends on, on it. it. We will it literally trained. die without him. <laughs> she says it. Ask him. <laughs> You're persuasive persuader. <laughs> do you want to go with her now? And have yeah, she can just come with us. She, she doesn't, doesn't want, want to. to. She, she wants, wants you to, to go, go with her, her and, and us to get the bird. Wait, wait, wait. I kind of look at her. It's like, you don't want to go with me? I mean, we persuade. I thought we were to, you know, get to know each other. Who would have thought Jack was a gentleman? <laughs> That's a seven. She takes your hand uh -oh. and carefully inserts your index finger into her mouth. Uh oh. Swirling her tongue around your <laughs> Her persuasion <laughs> is a 17 on the die roll. Oh, uh, minus three for the charisma. <laughs> Got a little bit of jaggedness going on here. But still, uh, it, it's nice to have something moist on in this uh, terrain. <laughs> well, uh, she makes a good argument. However, I will allow you to go ahead and say not good enough. You have I mean, it, it's a tough choice, but... but uh, does the little pouty stomp. 
I, I, I can't right now. I got, I'm on a time budget. budget. She kicks a loose stone and it goes right through the building next to you. <laughs> <laughs> but she hangs her head and says, mm-hmm. I will follow you guys. Okay. okay. I kind of like her. <laughs> so you, well, then start persuading that. <laughs> you make it to the courtyard it. with Jack's new puppy in tow. <laughs> you, <watch her. laughs> you see the female human again, and you also see an elven individual in heavy armor. Like them. Hey, uh, I'd like to make, make an inside, inside check, check on that human female. I don't need to. I don't like them. <laughs> Sorry, what? Insight. Insight check. Go ahead. Oh, that's pretty good. That's 20. 30, 20. Jack, were you going to make an insight check? No, nah, I just don't like them. <laughs> okay. Uh, she looks like she'd be a ranger. Just a lot of greens and grays. Has a very nice long bow. She doesn't look like she's interested in all that money we previously have and no longer have anymore. The elf takes off his helmet and reveals himself to be a male clad in heavy armor that's got to be freaking hot. And he looks at you guys. Puts his helmet back on and walks away. I'll inside check that. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's higher. That's 21. Did he look familiar at all? That's a 16 for me. Uh, Bjorn and Gilroy, uh he doesn't seem like you guys. Yeah, I'll pick my nose and flick it out. <laughs> uh, D12 against me, Jack. Right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you're gonna start fighting there. 10. 4. <laughs> uh... Dancing, waltzing Matilda follows suit. (laughs) (laughs) I like her. Flaming (laughs) boogers. And he does not take kindly to it. (laughs) And he moves into a position against you. And he looks at you and says, in common, slowly, you don't look very bright, so I'm only going to say this once. I am not someone that you or your creature want to mess with. Hey, 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 hey. You speak the ice of the lady. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. No. Fair burn, fair burn. Uh, well, you're a douche. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's what you are. Okay. The hell do you want with us? Everybody, perception check. Yeah, what's, what's your, your problem, man? Uh, he just had snot blown on him. <laughs> yeah, but he had a problem before that happened. That's a nine. 19. 14. 14. Hang on one sec. Uh, skills. Perception. Slow. I know. I know. I'm going to switch between screens. Uh, 14. Maeve, Gilray, and Bjorn. Uh, off in the distance, you see a rather large, imposing crimson worm. Shoot across the sky uh, over the city of Cooperino. I'll point that out. Uh, Jack, you okay. feel a rather punishing smack on your back and your newfound paramour. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Uh, by the way, it was a smack like that. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to the paramour. Yeah, she got the whole thing. I actually want to ask the the paramour there. Um, Will that thing come in the city in Infernal? Yeah, it lives here. Oh, he lives here. So if we leave him forever. So if we leave him alone, mind our business, we don't have to deal with it. 
Why would you mess with it? What did he do to you? Nothing. Just checking. Where we come from, things like to kick our ass all the time, but then we have to kick them back. Yeah. Her it's eyes light up as you speak to her, even though she has no clue what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, where we're from, they, I'll translate it. I'll translate it. He lusts for your body and soul. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Like... <laughs> he has pleasured many a female giantess in his time and looks forward to an opportunity to... Yeah. Except for I'm too worried about All that true. thing to friggin' punk him. <laughs> I'm too worried about the dragon. The elf shakes his head and just walks away. Clearly, he doesn't want to deal with you tourists. Good <laughs> fucking riddance. The right. ranger, they nod to each other. He continues on. She goes into a shop. You can tell because you can see her boots because where the female giantess kicked the hole in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, right. you, as you continue across, uh, Jack, you get grabbed at this time around the shoulder area <clears throat> and pulled slightly. Mm, what? Uh, Perception, Maeve, Gilleray, and Bjorn. Uh, that's pretty good. 13. 19? Nine. Everybody but Bjorn notices <laughs> that, boom, uh, there's the brass statue of Pasha Fermi. You're magnificent. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful statue. Oh, magnificent, magnificent statue, statue of the person we just spoke to. Yeah. Wait, well, we're supposed well, to really do this. Oh, that's not you. Probably not. Which guy? You. Why are you not worshiping our Lord? Uh, three Azar oh. uh, wandering across the court notice that Bjorn is just kind of taken in the sights and has not given homage to the great brass statue. And they smack are. Smack Bjorn off the side of the head. Yeah. Worship it. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, hi. It's beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> great. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> Doesn't uh, uh, doesn't, doesn't great, great justice. justice. Look at the craftsmanship, though. Isn't it fantastic? Persuasion. Who? Bjorn? Bjorn. <laughs> Six. <laughs> oh, no. One of the Azar comes up and pokes you in the forehead. Oh, no. And says, in Infernal... You don't seem very sincere. But I translate. All you, all you hear is... Uh, da, da, da. I translate. Would you like to try again, Bjorn? Or just kick this guy's ass? Make it look good. He is like the radiant sun shining upon this place. I pay him Obsolescence. Ah, uh, no, wait, that's not the right way. I'm going to grab the guy and push him push away. The Azar? Yeah. All right. Uh, Bjorn, let's go ahead and do your uh, performance this time. <laughs> Ooh, that's <not> 20. <laughs> 21. The Azar gives you the sign of he is fine, and then Jack pushes him. <laughs> I'd like to uh, full initiative. All right. Ah, we almost got the first. And that was oh, a terrible roll. Okay, so eleven. Eleven. Nine. Thirteen. That'd be a five. Uh the three A's are square off with Jack. Yes, I rolled for your paramour. She is not going to leave you hanging. <laughs> <laughs> 19, 9, and 16. So 14 is my low roll. 21 is my second low roll. So 21 hit you, I assume? Oh, yeah. Then the 25 will hit you as well. Uh, two Warhammers. 
come <coughs> crashing down upon your sweaty barbarian torso. Well, that's interesting rolls. <laughs> uh, six, nine, ten, nineteen, twenty-four hit points of damage as they honk you times two. One of them went for your groin and missed. Enraging Matilda. <laughs> Next up is a 13, and that is, I believe, Bjorn. Stop, stop. We can, uh, there's no need to fight. We can uh, talk through this. Persuade times three. All right. So let's see. That's uh, 10 total. Uh, well, I rolled a nine. Okay. Next one. Roll it three Four times, Joe. Times. Okay. Second one. 11. Third one. Seven. Great rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack. It's one of, those, one of those nights, huh, dear? Yep. Yeah. The axe uh, notices that one of them puts his warhammer up over his shoulder, but the other two did not seem to be persuaded. It's your turn. Um, yeah, screw it. I'm raging. <laughs> Bonus action rage. And uh, yeah, I'll go reckless and uh, smack the first one. Um, they're just workers, so I'll go for like a non-lethal version, but not really holding back that hard. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's a 21 for the first hit. For. Ooh, max damage. So that's going to be uh, 12, 22. Uh, that's going to be 30. Nice. First hit, second attack. Yeah, nice. Uh, that's a 22 to hit for. Minimum damage. Uh, so that's going to be 19. You kill him outright, but <laughs> not before you take 16 hit points of, or six hit points of damage from the heat. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, Maeve. Oh, shit. If you can so tell him they ain't happy that his friend's head just got knocked over the green monster. Okay, yeah. I'm going to whoever's closest to it. Um, one of the uh, dwarfs from here. Yeah, I, I can't, can't remember, remember what you told, told them. them. But um, I'm going to say in Infernal right in his face, we don't have time for this. Please get out of our way. Persuasion at disadvantage since <laughs> he's covered in his friend's guts. <laughs> Could that be intimidation? If you want to do intimidation at disadvantage, that's fine. He's still covered in the brain matter. He looks like he was riding in Kennedy's limo. Oh, oh still too soon. <laughs> 40, 60 years later, still too soon. 23. Oh. Disadvantage. Oh, no, disadvantage. disadvantage. I'm sorry. That's still pretty Ten. good. Okay, uh, <laughs> Jack, this meaty, sweaty fist comes up and over your shoulder. Oh, my God. I think she killed him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Maeve, the individual that you were talking to, <laughs> it's the brain of his other friend covering him. It drips down. You look over and you see Matilda's fist with most of the guy's skull wrapped around it. <laughs> the individual that you had intimidated says, have a nice day. <laughs> Turns yeah! around and walks away. I didn't even get to go. Uh, Jack. Oh. She... Tears off the guy's head. 
I take it. <laughs> yeah, so strap it on. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Yeah. Uh, put that thing on display. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll put it in the bag. <laughs> uh, as, you, as you go uh, past the statue, uh, after paying it notice, uh, Are you okay, by the way? Go to I got a little dim. I mean, nothing down. down. Well, I can like do 32. some healing. Do you want to do healing, Joe? Hi. Hey. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Are you using a spell? Uh, yes. Give me a percentage check. Let's see if your deity can hear you from the elemental plane of fire. 62. Cast your spell. All right. Yeah. We'll do, uh, let's see. We'll do second level cure wounds. Jack, your friend is. Just. <laughs> Grooming that unibrow <laughs> she's got going. <laughs> Jack, take, take 15, 15 points, points back. back. All right. Uh, Maeve, Gilleray, give me checks. What perception you said? Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll actually uh, motion her to kind of lean down and I'll, I'll, I'll get, get some, some of it off her. Uh, skill, oh, skill, skill, skill. Those are spells. Skill, skills. Perception. You think yeah, I have perception memorized by now? Uh, 19. No, 18, I'm sorry. sorry. Gilleray, you notice... One, two, three doors down. There's a sign in Infernal Aviary. Okay. There's where we need to go. Yeah. Back. Oh, uh, right. For some reason, somehow, we aren't really sure how she does it. She manages to blush as you share a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you walk up to the <laughs> salt building and there is a sign written in what appears to be chalk. Uh, it is written in Infernal. So what does it say? say? The Avery? Back in two hours. <laughs> oh, no. I can't imagine how we could kill, kill two, two hours. hours. We could go to a town. Like going in? We could go in to the, the aviary and, and just get, get the, the bird, bird and leave the, the ingot. ingot. Yeah. Uh, maybe? As long as we're paying for it. Paid for it. It's true. Let's go in. Let's go in and check it out anyways. Door is unlocked. This basalt building is etched with carvings of birds on fire, and a bronze door is present, also etched with the avian life. Uh, over the mantle of the arch door is the word aviary in Infernal, uh, but a sign on the door purports that the owner is out for two hours. A shake of the handle reveals that the door is unlocked. We go in. Uh, let me check for traps first. Oh, you learned. <laughs> so would that be um, investigation then? Checking for traps. I think so. Yep. Yeah, that is a three. <laughs> Was that a was that, that a one of the die? No, it's that's two. certain there is no traps. This thing is fine. It's piece of cake. You know what? If there was a trap, they wouldn't have left it unlocked. It's unlocked, Jack. You know that that's fine first. logic, actually. You want to go first, Jack? Oh, uh, sure. I'll open it up and go. The door is not large enough for your friend, and she kind of tugs at you and <sighs> gives a whimper. Um. Uh, I'll be back. We're yeah. gonna, we gotta get the flat flat. 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 <laughs> flat, flat. I'll translate for you. We have to get to here the shortly to give you the lovins that you so deserve. Don't worry, Jack <laughs> took care of you. <laughs> uh, you put your hand on the door and it's warm to the touch. You push it open. And sunlight beams in from a large circular hole in the ceiling. Uh, 
Once inside the shop, you notice that there is a large hole in the ceiling and sunlight bears down on a copper disc in the center of the room and causes steam to flow upright into a column. Several copper shelves below the disc are home to warm eggs. So you're looking at a column and the disc is about six feet high and the steam just rises up. In the, in the center column, there are rows where eggs appear to be incubating. Hmm. On the left, there is a set of shelves and there are 24, there are 24 cages about three by three, but only 12 of them are occupied by red and orange birds that you surmise are phoenix. I mean, I could try to make a nature, nature check, check to, to be sure. It looks like the birds etched into the outside and etched into the copper. Oh, okay. But if you want to do a nature check, go ahead. That would be a 15. Jack, outside you hear the melodic voice of your paramour. Maeve and Gilray can point out to you that it is a song of sorrow for love. Oh, oh she misses she you. you. Yeah, oh, she needs to calm down a little bit and not be so clean. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the incubation column in front of you with uh, leathery eggs the size of an ostrich egg. And on the wall behind is the shelves. In the center, offset from the column is what appears to be your standard merchant desk. So. Are the cages portable? Uh, it would seem so, although at three by three, it's going to be kind of hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh, well, I mean, I could, I could try polymorphing one into something smaller. <laughs> Uh, polymorph <laughs> creature. I thought about this. Good idea. I know. Can you polymorph a creature? Sure. If they fail their save. Um, and how much is the duration of this sucker, too? Everybody roll a d12, please. 11. 6. 5. 10. <laughs> Jack again. You hear a voice inside your head that says, Mother? <laughs> oh, no. Everybody else hear that? No. Hear what? Somebody's looking for their mom. Are you my mother? All right. Somebody's wondering who's mom. Is it one of the phoenixes ask, asking? Ask, yeah. Asking. Yes. I can't talk. Wait. Asking. <laughs> God. Jack, cage four seems to be inquiring. It's a male this time. <laughs> but as you look at it, mother? Uh. And these are, these are all random dice rolls, so I'm yeah. not picking uh, on Jack. <laughs> but it's so perfect! I don't really swing that way, but... Yeah. I mean... I, I, what are you... What's going on? I don't know. There's like something about? speaking and it's saying, are you my mom? What are the bugs? I, I don't know. Oh, talk to it. Hello. Mother? I'm going to... It's speaking common in his head. Is there any way we can tell which bird it is? From this? Mother, I, I guess. What? Yeah. Do you know which bird it is? Uh, I think it's that one. I point to the fourth cage. Um, I'll go up to it. Uh, and I'll, I'll head up to it. Okay. Mother? Say yes. Yeah, say Come on, Ray. If somebody asks you if you're a god, you say <laughs> yes. yes. Sure. Uh, yeah, mom. Yeah. We go? Yes, we, we are, are actually. 
we go. All right. All right. Sure. All right. Outside, Wait. you hear that the fire giantess has changed to the theme from the love boat. <laughs> <laughs> She's That's waiting for an adventure <laughs> or two with you. Bird seems very focused on Jack, even as you guys gather around it. Oh my god! And I have the animal oh, handout and check like, too. Okay, get put the ingot on the desk, and we'll take the bird. I have animal handling. Okay. Is like there me, something me, I can, I can write, write a note on? So I'm, I'm going to just open up the cage. It's late. Yeah, there, there's going to be chalk that she used to write on the basalt outside. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so I'll write, like, on the desk. Ingot for one phoenix. And leave the, fe in leave the ingot there. Say so from... Uh, Cage four. Oh, from our cage four. Yeah, cage four from Ferme. Uh, Jack, what were you doing? I'm going to open up the cage. Uh, Maeve, give me a d20 roll. I'm not going to tell you what to add. Eight. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Jack, the small bird, uh, about two and a half, two and three quarters feet pops out onto the floor as you open it, spreads its wings, uh -oh. and kind of leans up against you. Oh. oh! All right. Does it burn? Uh, it will not burn because it is not attacking you. All right. I'm going to pat it on the head. I am too. It coos at Jack yeah. in animal handling. <laughs> for you got the cold hands. Can I, can I essentially... Wait, who's... Who's rolling the animal handling? Me you. or him? You. Me? Oh, yeah. All it right. loves Jack. <laughs> Everybody loves Jack. Oh, for, for <laughs> fuck's sakes. That's, a, that's an 11. That's, that's not going to be good enough. It's going to try and wing slash you. <laughs> <laughs> it misses horribly. However, everybody perception check. God damn friggin' dice at times. That's no good either. Uh, not bad. 12. Uh, 20. 30, Six. 20. I'm too entranced by this bird. I only have like, like a 10. 10. Bjorn, Nine. Jack, over to the other side of the column where the eggs are at, you see a shimmering of light and a very large, very angry phoenix appears. Uh oh. Initiative every. <laughs> Just gotta stare at it literally like a quiet moment. I know. <laughs> oh. No. Nineteen. I can try an animal friendship. friendship with this. Advantage initiative. So uh, sixteen <laughs> with advantage. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that back kind of nice. holding up that clarity. Right. You know what? You need that pivotal moment. Or you All right, what's yours? Carol, what's yours? <laughs> Carol, what's your yeah. oh, wow. Carol. Sorry? What's your initiative? Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, 14. Uh, Maeve, you spin around after hearing <laughs> Jack and Bjorn gasp, and you see a very large, very angry phoenix. You are up first. What would you like to do? Are you Madam Shook? <laughs> that your <Right>? turn? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, Mr. Fermi sent us to get one of these yeah. young phoenixes. The ingot's right here. Persuasion. Better roll high. 14. Not <laughs> high high. enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, Do you think that it's her? One on deaf ears. Uh, and she is going to attack. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> well, I got quite a little bit of business. Uh... 
Gilleray, give me a DC 16 versus wisdom. Oh, there, right? Sorry. Not me? Jeez. Uh, that's probably not going to make it. Let's see. What is my wisdom? Oh, God, that's a four. Yeah, 14. You are now blind. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Uh, one, two, three. No. Uh, Gilray, you're blind. What do you want to do? Uh, do you have like lesser? I do have lesser restriction. I do too. Hear that? Cool. If yeah, you... but do I want? I can try to handle <laughs> friendship or handling. I could try to talk to Up it. to you. Yeah. <laughs> It worked well for Maeve. <laughs> well, 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 that was a persuasion check. Uh, what do you think animal, animal handling is? Uh, I got a plus eight, eight so... Um, I'm like, listen, we're, we're not here to hurt you. We're, we just want to get what we need to go. Just let us go. Is this an infernal? Yeah. Okay. Give me a persuasion. Uh, how about animal handling? Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, that is a lot better. That's a 23. Very nice roll. Uh, oh, crap. You shouldn't have gone. It should have been Jack. Jack, you're up. Oh. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep what you rolled, though. I So I haven't seen any physical attacks. So, uh... And... It, I mean, has it made any real aggressive, like obvious? And then blinding me? Gilleray's blind. That's not. I mean, I don't know that. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> I didn't actually say that. So. No, but you're doing this like Stevie yeah. Wonder driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she doesn't realize. Takes his back there. Can you let us go? I know. She's like staring at something else. I'm not really staring. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, baby Phoenix number two is like, huh? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, Jack? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start taking baby Phoenix outside. It's like, well, okay, um, Bjorn. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Where is it? Sorry, I do have lesser restoration. If you want to do it, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Give me your percentage check. Oh, that's right. I wonder if I need to make that. Oh, sun in the spring. That's an odd four. <laughs> that fails. Yeah, that kind of fails. <laughs> yeah. New round. Maeve, you're up first. Jack is leaving the building. Wait, did you? We don't know the results yet. Yeah. When the heck did I even get to go? You you were supposed to go after Jack, but I read it wrong, so you went before Jack. So you oh, need okay. Jack, however, is leaving. So Jack, roll a D twelve. Maeve, Gilray, and Bjorn roll a D twelve. Oh, a D twelve. Higher than Jack, you're fine. If you're lower than Jack, you're feeling the burn. Twelve. Eight. Two. Two. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Jack, what was yours? Five. Only Maeve. <laughs> Eight hit points. <laughs> You're feeling that, the burn. Is that fire damage, though? That is fire damage. So, so it's only four. four. Yep. Nice. <laughs> A little hot foot. <laughs> nice. And all you see is Jack's ass headed out the door with the bird hopping behind him. <laughs> and you Jack, it's to go. are at 21 feet. <laughs> and there's a giant phoenix right there. So did it react? I'm walking out the door. Okay. So what was your animal uh, handler or uh, 
Speaking of pivotal. Back up. Uh, outside awaits the giantess. <laughs> so wait, what happens? I don't know. It's Jack's turn right now. Oh, okay. Um, so... I gotta leave you in suspense, Carol. Uh, yeah, no, I, mean, uh, I, I guess, guess I'll, like, like, hey, I'll, I'll look, look back, back to see, see if other people, people are coming, coming. You know, make sure the bird's following. Oh, the bird's following. Yeah. I, I think there's gonna be a clash of love here. This <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <nah>. <laughs> Bjorn. Uh, Bjorn, you're starting to feel a little warm. <laughs> I, 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 head on. Don't leave us behind. Why? Head out. Fair enough. Oh, I'm sorry. And I That'll passed over nice. Gilroy. I guess probably on accident to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. The, the giant phoenix uh, ruffles its feather. But it it is seemingly spotted the rod mentioned by Maeve and fallen for your delicious charms, and it does not appear to be in the mood to watch dog, as it seems to this rather intelligent creature that you have paid your debt. How about uh, I, I, can, can I, I have? Now- do I have to, to make checks to cast my spells? Or can I bless a restoration myself? If you want a restoration yourself while you bounce off uh, the wall, go ahead, but you have to make the percentage check. So that's a yes. Okay. I will. No, that's not high. What is it? It was 06. <laughs> I'm still blind, so I fumble my way out of the Jack shop. Gilray D12. Oh, shit. This is bad. Oh, four. Ten. <laughs> Seven hit points of heat damage, Gilray, as Uh-oh. you are completely oh, lost. Okay. Top of the order, Maeve. Uh... As you're hustling out, you can see uh, one blind mice there. <laughs> keep keep casting it on, will, damn it. I will go back and get, get her. her. And, like, take, take her, her by, by the, the arm, arm and say, Go, Ray, you are roughly go. grabbed. <laughs> I say, let's oh, go yeah. this way. <laughs> Everybody is outside as the phoenix follows you to make sure that you have not taken anything more than you have paid for. Mm-hmm. Outside, you notice that Jack, your paramour, is not happy that you have a pet that seems to be acquiring your attention. And she seems to be, seems to have her feathers ruffled. May, uh, <laughs> Dave and Gilleray, you could tell that uh, Walsing Matilda, get rid of that fucking pet. I can see if I can try to get a, its attention again. Also, before we go anywhere, we need to try to deal with the fact I can't fucking see. Ah, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up the I'll pick up Gilray by like the scruff of her neck and hey! point her over my shoulder. Well, no, I'm gonna try. We'll get Matilda's attention, and like she is not here. having any of that. Stomps her foot down and begins to vehemently point. She, you don't need to understand that she's pissed now. Calm down. I can I sense it. I can't see her. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Remain- I will like. I'll kind of like <laughs> wave her to to relax. I won't say to relax because that'll just piss <laughs> off anybody. Persuasion. Like, oh come on. Oh, nice. It's a nineteen on the die. I think it's plus one. Yep, so that's a dirty 20. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never realized Jack was this cool. I- I'll kind of like, I'll kind of like rubber arm. Like, it's re- it's okay. We have it. We can. I'll like look at her. She's like. <laughs> her, 
Her visage softens and she seems to be assuaged for the moment. What would you guys like to do? You have a... So we want to try it again? What? I want to try it again and I'm blind. Oh, myself. yeah. Let's try that again. I'll try me. Uh, 52. Does nope. that do it? Because I can cast it. Yeah, that does it. All right. So I will cast Lustre. Be the light. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then I'll put her down. I'll just let her drop. Uh, what? That brings a smile to Matilda's face. <laughs> All right. Well, we're well, done here. Let's let's head out. Oh, hang on. Let me do one thing real quick. What? I'll take out my whistle, and and uh, everybody gets what's a D six. Uh D four first. Oh. D4. <laughs> no, jeez. Uh, because it's all random, random shit. Let's see. Three. Oh, okay. We're all deaf. You're all happy. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy. Right. Did you guys see Big Trouble in Little China? Yeah, I was literally yeah. just thinking that. I feel good. And I feel good. good. I feel yeah. really good. good. Hey, Invincible you know what? good. And that means your hair is feeling good too now. Yeah. <laughs> Love that movie. I'm happy now. Well, that means <laughs> the bird and Matilda, Matilda feel good too. Yeah, everybody's feeling good. All right. And that's six. six. Get six healing points back. Woo! Nice. I was hoping for another one, Bjorn. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to do? You've been in town about three and a half hours. Oh, we got time to kill then. Oh, yeah. You got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah you, you get, get time. time. I don't know why you can kill, kill some time. time. Uh, yeah, I, I could. could. As long as it's uh, not be around 20 feet of what side. <laughs> well, no, we can just, just be outside of the room. room. That'll be within 28 feet. You think this is going to be quiet? <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be quiet at all. I know you're not, 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 not going to hear the wall shaking. shaking. I'm, I'm going to just. I, yeah, I. I don't think it's. How much it's crush right damage right. can Jack the axe? I mean, seriously, you fell. Well, you could rage during it. I Wait, guess. are you saying that he's going to die from snoo snoo? I was. I was literally just about to say that. <laughs> she was a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> Producer is True. ready to go. Bird, Robbie, 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 Robbie. <laughs> the bird has to learn the birds and the bees. Uh, I guess we should. I guess we should head back. Angry. In 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 common in common. Head back. Yes. 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 Head back. Yes. Yeah, we'll head back. You come to the statue and you notice the main avenue, which would have been the right side of the guardhouse, <laughs> and you head that way. Very important perception check, please. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. That's good. It's a seventeen. Uh, seventeen also. Um, nineteen. I believe that is a dirty twenty. You go down the main drag, and the female ranger <sighs> officer cap to you. So I uh, keeps walking and then hangs a right. What do you think she's up to? Can I I'm gonna, her? Keep the, I'm gonna keep my, my hand, hand on the bird. bird. You know, stay close to uh, Matilda and kind of like look at her. It's like kind of yeah. keep an eye out. Yeah, I'm gonna walk behind the bird <laughs> and Jack. Uh, Gilroy, give me an insight check. Oh, that's an 18 on the die. So that's like... Person three times in like three hours. Uh, that's yeah, really it's no. sketchy, huh? Yeah, it looks like she's uh, going back 22. towards the aviary. Uh-oh. 22. Yeah, she's going back to the aviary, it looks like. Because uh, as she rounds the corner, she kind of... What looks the hell? Okay, gonna... guys. I'll point at her. Uh, uh, and then she disappears from you. <laughs> She's going to go back there and try to steal one of these birds. 
All the other females will take care. Yeah, she. Yeah. I don't know. I think she, that she's going to screw us over somehow. What if she takes the um, ingot? She will. The mistress. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna stop, but I want to. I'm gonna follow her. Yeah, no, screw this. <laughs> All right. Oh, all right. Yeah. So uh, you guys uh, yeah, go staying with them. You guys go back around, and that avenue is completely vacant. Yeah. Okay. Then I guess we go back home. <laughs> no, let's get out of here. I don't here. see anybody. All right. Go back out the entrance. Yeah. 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 Go back down the main drag, which would have been the right pathway. You go down, and Maeve and Gilray, you notice that the female giantess is kind of getting the impression that uh, Jack is not going to consummate the relationship here. Uh, and everybody hears a shriek behind them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's how we get screwed over. You know that big hole in the aviary? Yeah. The phoenix comes shooting straight out of it and goes up into the sky. Off in the distance, a bell begins to ring. We need to leave. Now. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that somebody is trying to bone us. Sorry, let, let's. Uh, I'm gonna pick up uh, Gil uh, Gilray, look at Maeve, kiss her on the hand. And Maeve like give judges. a bow and start <laughs> that's gonna piss her it. off. <laughs> uh, I think you mean Matilda. Yeah, yeah Matilda. 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 I'm gonna like, well, I'm gonna kiss Matilda on the hand and start, you know, hustling. And I'm gonna start Matilda running grabs after a hold of you. You're gonna what, Bjorn? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start running after Jack as long as my stubby little legs are patting me. Jack ain't going anywhere because Matilda's uh -oh. latched on. In the distance, two bells are ringing. Uh, Jack, she is pleading with you. Uh, Maeve, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Infernal, we can't stay here. They're coming for us because that ranger just he promised. Over. He promised. He promised. No, we can't go back there. I didn't promise anything. He promised. He is my betrothed. No, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, wait, wait! Should I do betrothed. it? Betrothed. I'm gonna polymorph. I'm casting polymorph her okay. into a bunny. <laughs> What's her save? Uh, wisdom sixteen. Can't be a charisma save. No. <laughs> She's a bunny. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why you do this whole time. Oh. Let's get the hell out. Yes, let's go. Let's hustle. It's to ring. Good luck. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure the pet can follow me. Oh, it's you're one of the slowest people. No, Mommy? no. But we picked up the pet. I'll pick up the pet. No, no not the bunny, bunny. The phoenix. Yeah, I know. Well, no, okay. no. I'll well, the phoenix is going to follow me. I'm guessing. Me. No, okay. Yeah, but he can't run fast either. So we're going to pick him up. Twelve against the phoenix, Gilleray. Which can I make an animal handling check to do it? D12 first, then I'll give you the animal handling. Oh, no, that's a one. So how big is the phoenix? Uh, it's about two and a half feet tall. Now you can do your animal could handling, it, but it's could it fit on my shoulder? Oh yeah. Oh fine. No. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll have a, I'll have, I'll have him behind okay, my shoulder. Okay, this is a better idea because I can't, I can't roll, roll for shit. shit. She's gonna get hit by the beak. <laughs> fine, do it. <laughs> Six gonna, damage this time. I'm going to get a nickel and dime to death. Damn thing. Yeah, so I'll have the phoenix hop on my shoulder. Uh, the phoenix says, not mother. Keep her away from me. <laughs> <laughs> back off, girl. But I'm aunt. Say I'm aunt. <laughs> no, back off. You suck as a druid. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I just polymorphed that thing into a body. So, All right, yeah. so I guess I'm going to like walk at normal speed while these people try to... You know, hustle their asses. The uh -huh. two fire giant guards from before are headed your way. Uh oh, go! All right, um, just keep going. Nice. You know what? For SMGs, I'm gonna put polymorph is not uh, a polymorph is concentration. Yeah, you gotta hold it. Uh -oh. Okay, now hold it instead of casting. I was thinking of casting bark skin on you, but no, I don't no, think that's I need fine. it. So you're still polymorphing the fire, yes. right? 
Yep. yep. Jack. Next day on the polymorphe. As as you're headed towards these guards, give me a give me a persuasion check that you're looking normal. Oh, all of us? Tim for right now. That's a ten. That's a ten. Uh, who's closest to Jack? Probably me. I'm on him. And my carrying her on her shoulder. Carrying the, the whole the party, other. apparently. Uh, <laughs> Bill Array, why don't you, you know what? Bjorn hasn't rolled a one in a while. Bjorn, why don't you roll? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Tibbled on that? That is not a one. That is a 16 on the die. <laughs> the guards take no notice of you, but they are going to bump into one Mave. Uh, yes. Take five hit points of damage as you are knocked away. Roll two d12s. Take the highest. Jack, roll one d12. That's a four. I keep rolling a lot of those. Uh, they knock you towards Jack, so you stay within range. Manage to do a nice little twirling step. Uh, Gilray, what was my save for this next round? Uh, I don't think, I think it, it works, works like, like that. that. Oh, as long as you keep concentration. Yeah, as long as I keep concentration, concentration it's polymorphed. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the two guards run past you, knock Maeve almost over, and they I go running I towards the course of the uh, bells. Ahead of you is the bridge. And since you're running, holding a phoenix and a Gilray, I will take a dex check, Jack. All right. Um, what is it? Actually, I probably have to carry the bunny with me to keep concentration on it because of the area. <laughs> so, how far does that go? 60 feet. So, we made 11 dex check. That's not going to be good enough. Are you, um, uh, are you uh -oh. carrying the bunny or no? Yeah, I was going to carry the bunny because I can't keep it in range. <laughs> Uh, you can now make a save because Jack is slipped on some basalt and his assholes and elbows going down the incline. Hopefully, he manages to stay on the bridge and not into the lava river. Uh, what save? Uh, Dex. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, that's good. 19. There you go. Now go ahead and do a strength check to make sure you keep a hold of the bunny. So I can say, Sorry. put the bunny. A what, a strength check? Yes. Really? Get on to it's it. It's a bunny. I, I don't. don't. That's a three. Fair enough. Uh, Maeve, Bjorn, two D12s. Jack, one D12. As you ooh, down the hill. Maybe she'll go into Six. the fire. Eight. We're taking the highest. Yep. Uh, what are we rolling? You you don't have to roll nah, anything. You. Okay. I didn't think uh, so. Bjorn and Maeve, you notice that Jack is assholes and elbows. You see a bunny rabbit fly out of Gilray's hand and land on a rock nearby. Uh, Gilray, give me a maintain concentration check, please. Ten or better. Um, I believe I get advantage to that because I'm a warcaster. That's not a 10. Wait, is it a... Do you add your... Nope, was better. Straight up. Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, good news. You managed to stay on course and you land at the footing of the stone bridge. Gilray lands nearby you. Maeve and Bjorn are fast, <coughs> despite their legs, to keep up with you. Behind you, a fire giantess has appeared, screaming for justice and love. <laughs> oh, no. What oh, would no. you guys like to do? Keep going. Keep going. Pick ourselves up and go. 
Everybody roll a D12 against me to see if the flying flaming trout get you. Nine. It's going to get me because that's a two. Five. Anybody get a 12? I did. Okay, so you get missed. Everybody else takes two to the kisser. Uh, ah, I will take uh, straight up D20s to see if you keep your eyebrows or not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Seven. Keeps it. 16. Keeps it. And there's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's beard. <laughs> As the trout mangles your face, oh. tendrils of smoke are coming off of oh, every bit of facial hair, and even the side hair is coming off. <laughs> this, love and justice. Love and justice. The two fire giant guards have heard the yelling have spun around <laughs> and they are interacting with her you make it across the bridge three of you take face hits do you want to keep going uh, yeah. you know what I'm going to stop <laughs> I'm going to take out my axe for justice I'm going to crack into the bridge since it's the siege weapon, weapon considered it ignores the uh uh, we all the on, we're all on the other side, right? I know yeah. they're going to follow. I don't know. It depends <laughs> on his role. <laughs> uh, so what do you want me to roll? D20. All right. I assume he's waiting until we're all over on the other uh, side. That was almost a nat 20. Uh, eight on the die. Uh, am I adding anything like a normal attack? Your axe chips, uh, but you do open up a fissure on the wall or on the stone bridge everybody roll a d12 beat jack oh god well i rolled a 12 so i'll beat jack so i rolled an eight then i rolled an eight i rolled a 12 jack does wait uh although he almost whacks bjorn's head off uh, of not. a fissure has developed onto the bridge uh bjorn Give me a survival check. Survival. All right. Let's see. Uh, seven. I don't know if the bridge is going to hold. <laughs> <laughs> I could throw up on since I'm not concentrating. This is my game. But it's just like angry. Oh! <laughs> Fire giants. <laughs> what would you like to do? Now I'm going to hit it again. <laughs> All right. Better. 14 on the die. A percentage roll. All right. Don't break your axe. No, oh, not. And a man team. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't. What was it? 58. You actually, the fissure wise out and takes about a 20% chunk out of the bridge. Everybody roll perception. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 13. 20. 11. Maeve notices they are slowing down. It doesn't look like they're going to come, come across, across the bridge, the bridge so, so we can go up. Let's Two get the guards pull forth boulders. Oh, no. <laughs> Two guards, what? Pull forth boulders. boulders. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Two and four. Gilray and Jack. Gilray? No. Yeah. 23 to hit. <laughs> no, that's, that's just terrible. That's awful. Is that hit? Of course it hits. You have to make his day by saying that. <laughs> I gotta heal myself, damn it. Uh, Jack? Ooh, uh, 24. Yes. Does that hit? Yes. <laughs> uh, each one of you take... Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's like... Oh, boy. You can just drop us to zero. <laughs> huh. Yeah, you guys will live. Maybe. 25 hit points of damage to both. Okay, no, that's fine. You're missing a few teeth. 
I want to quaff my potion, though. Fair enough. Uh, so you <laughs> give him another round to throw at you. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, uh, no, we're going to move. We're I'm going to blow kiss it, uh, at my fire giantess, give a wave, and start booking it. All right. Hear her yell uh, no, something. Huh? You hear her yell something in return. What do we hear? <laughs> You two ladies here. I love you forever. <laughs> She's going to miss you so much. Uh, Got to love them and leave them, you know? Uh, the <laughs> fire giants are depressed. Throw a few more boulders, but uh, you guys will make it out of range. As you, as you hump, you see what you could best see, uh, best consider a military contingent headed from the large city with brass, Terrence, uh, probably coming at you. In between you and the other force is the crater. Who wants to roll the d12 against me to see if you're in trouble? I'll take a moment. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong with that? Hey, do I have enough time to co-op a potion or something? Sure. At this point. All right. Ooh, I got a 12. Oh, wow. Or, nice. uh, pivotal rolls, man. If you're fine, nobody trips, you will make it to the crater. Everybody roll a straight up d20. A oh, one, a fall, a two is a 19. 16. Oh, I love you, Black Day. I can't see what that is. I'm oh, oh. sorry. I make it uh -oh. a, a straight up D twenty roll. Yep, it's like a two. two. Oh. oh no! Mine's a fourteen. Dave, Jack, D twelve. Oh, even a nineteen. Dang it! Jack, you're fine. Babe's the one. Oh, I have to roll, but I have to roll a D twelve. Yeah. Oh. Nine, eleven. She rolled a one, so I don't think she's gonna make it. <laughs> what was your roll? Oh, my roll. Okay. Uh, seven. Dave, take eight hit points of damage as the your lungs start to burn. Pick yourself up with anything but a one or a two on a d20, please. Thirteen. She picks herself up and she starts humping for it. Uh, Jack, you are first to reach the crater. What do you want to do? The military is riding some kind of weird beast and they seem to be accelerating rapidly. Um, so we're there, right? All you got to do is jump in the pit. Oh, we can just leave? I will wait for the others. That's true. Mm -hmm. At 10.08, uh, all four of you land in the brass or the copper bathtub, splitting it wide open. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, Icleus, the wizard, and the Duchess of uh, Salt are present. They look at you as you are all splayed across. A little bit of sunburn going on, little rosy cheeks. And one phoenix. I bet you yeah. the phoenix doesn't like the water, that's for sure. <laughs> phoenix Ugh. does not like the water and complains loudly. It is not Saturday, is what it tells you, Jack. <laughs> I will right, say, uh, I will say safe, you have successfully yeah. achieved it. And a small, dark-haired little girl comes in and goes, I want that phoenix now. Who wants to roll to see if the phoenix likes Veruca? I will. D1. D20. Oh, D20. Uh, I can't tell that nine. Nine. It pecks Veruca in the face. <laughs> yes! So, I don't know if it works this way, but I'm going to think it Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we will end Fetching a Phoenix. Uh, folks, it <laughs> appears that you were successful uh, with only minor collateral damage. Uh, what we do here at the end of the game is we go over with final thoughts. And again, we'll start with Carol, since she's done this a time or two, and you three can see how it's done. Carol, 
Final thoughts. Oh, God, that was so much fun. It was great playing with these guys always. Um, that was interesting. And I was I was going through the whole thinking of all the ways that the actual Bird Bows would have completely screwed that over. That up really well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this is what happens when you get, you know, three GMs at a very experienced table, a player at the table, I think, is... And hacking but a little on more straight on them, hacking on them. Holy crap, Carol! It was so much fun. Okay, very good. Uh, Maeve, what do you think? This was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it's I because really... I'm a better DM than Kyle. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Maeve. Ooh. Leaps and bounds ahead of him. Oh, oh shots fired. <laughs> Kyle. This, <laughs> this is what happens when a party stays together. Oh. We, don't, oh. we don't just murder all about everything in existence. The party that stays together <laughs> slays together. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Patient, Carol's husband. <laughs> this this was great. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. This, this was, was a lot of fun. fun. And, oh, I, uh, I'm glad you rolled some ones for me. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> that happens a lot with them. I it, it, yeah, yeah, my rolls are, are kind of all over the place, but there's those times when I need that roll and it happens. So that that's part of the game. <coughs> uh, last but not least, Mr. Love. <laughs> About it, Perry White. What'd you think? So a little disappointed that we couldn't, you know, further the relationship, but you know. <laughs> You got to get moving on. There's other ladies to love and everything. Uh, no, this was a lot of fun. Uh, it was very entertaining. Uh, the uh, interactions with the creatures and such. Uh, wanted to punch that elf in the face. Uh, was waiting for him to throw down. But uh, I'm sure we'll find out some other time. Maybe the maybe another group will have to uh, spit in his face and such. Uh, other than that, I think it was a uh, really fun and. Uh, Glad I was rolling well today. Normally, it doesn't always go that way for me. Oh, you did roll very well. Yeah, with the murder hobo scenarios, uh, it, it's written for a longer game. But with two hours, we uh, make do with what we have. I uh, I would like to thank all four of you. I thought you did really well. You played a very cohesive unit. Uh, only Maeve, I think, uh, stumbled and kept getting out of distance. Or did Bjorn? A couple times. Yeah. Hey, that's Frank. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I think someone might have had bingo too. Oh, who was it? Uh, Dave. Oh, uh, Dave, make sure that you got the, the time on there so that we can verify it. But if you did, that little baby's coming at you, man. So that's pretty. Not your normal size, it, it is the big size. The producer makes dice. That's one of hers. And this is another oh, cool. one of hers. <gasps> oh, that is cool. That's so pretty. Yep. Uh, but again, really, uh, thank you very much. I I'm glad you guys jumped on. Carol was really looking forward to this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm disappointed oh, that none yeah, of she you would be quiet over. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I thought you guys did a nice job, and it was nice to see uh, how a planar adventure was going because I'm not uh, very experienced in them. But I thought you guys did well uh, uh, for our other players. Gee, it's always amazing when you don't treat. NPCs like dicks because then they <laughs> 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 are dicks. Say, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, aside from an elf who got snotted on, <laughs> I, and some Azars that got, got, got their heads locked up. Yeah, well, that was not <laughs> of events, but holy crap, that was amazing. Uh, Dave, if you won, congratulations. Uh, we shall see soon enough. For those of you at home, if you want to uh, take a seat like these guys did, uh, you've heard them. They had a good time. So can you. Uh, go ahead and let us know. We don't mind at all. Uh, we look forward to new players. It's always fun. Tuesday night is Between the Rolls. We're going to go ahead and continue with our discussion on uh, the planar uh, topic. Probably do Elemental Plane of Fire. Uh, if you want a seat there, again, it's wide open. We don't mind at all. Just let us know. If you wanted to play bingo and you didn't get a hold of us, let us know. We'll get you a bingo card for either the campaign and or uh, the one shots because you, know, you could win die. Hell, maybe this die is up there. Uh, there's also two D6s around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, they're right there. 
Same thing. It says murder hobo ink on them, right? It says murder hobo ink on them. Uh, but uh, let us know. Uh, until then, uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube channel. If you want to buy our crap, which is not crap, as Carol says, it's good quality merch. No. Tinyurl.com RPG swag for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining, guys. Let's uh, give the wave and let the producer kill us all. Have a good night. <laughs> night, night. Good night. Good night. Back.